Hi, my name's Hayley Quinn and this is a sex, dating and relationship advice video for onlinedating.org. Now today what I'm going to be talking about is top three tips for how not to break up with your girlfriend. These are specifically for girlfriends, by the way, I might do one for boyfriends next week. Okay, the first tip that I'm going to chat to you about is I would avoid mentioning anything to do with sex or your sex life in the breakup. I think this makes things messier and more complicated. Um, if you were just seeing her really as a booty call and the relationship didn't have much else in it apart from your sexual attraction to one another, bringing this up in while you're breaking up with her is just not a good idea. By using words like fun, you might think that you're being complimentary to her, but I can tell you that no girl wants to be Miss Right now instead of Miss Right, so I'd just leave that out of the equation. Similarly, if you the sex life wasn't really happening for you guys anymore, maybe that, that aspect of your relationship had died out, things have got a bit boring. Again, if you reference it, not only is she likely to try and want to get back with you um, and try and contradict that, but it's also going to be really upsetting to her self-esteem. So I would just be much more aloof, talk about how you're incompatible generally as people instead of just on a sexual front. Okay, the second tip that I'm going to give is not to give her any false hope. Now, it's very tempting when you're breaking up with someone to maybe say things that you, d you don't exactly mean, but you want to soften the blow. So you might say, you might call it a break, for instance, instead of a break up. You might say that you need some space. You might say that you hope, given time, that you'll work things out in the future. But if you don't mean any of these things, just don't say them. Because the problem is that will stop prevent her from moving on. It'll stop her from leading the life that she needs to lead. So even though it's harder for you to say in the moment, it's always better to be completely honest set her free and also don't just string her along as a safety net because you know that's not right. Okay, my third point, particularly for breaking up with girlfriends, is if there's been a third party involved, if you've been seeing another woman maybe behind her back or another guy, if that's what you're into, um, I just wouldn't mention it if you don't have to in the breakup. I know this is a little bit deceitful, but if she doesn't have any idea about that that's been going on, then it's probably actually going to be more upsetting and more detrimental to her if the relationship is already coming to an end for her to know those details. Also, if she does find out that you've been having an affair, then I promise you that she'll root around until she knows all of the details of it, and I mean all of them. She'll know that when you had an affair, she'll check your credit cards, she'll know that you once had sex at your house, and all these things that you'd much rather were left out. It would also cause a large argument, your name will be blackened, you know, she'll probably start a Facebook hate campaign against you, so it's just not a wise idea. Again, lines like, it's it's not you, it's me, we're made for these kind of occasions. So keep it a bit more vague and a bit more aloof. So just to recap, my top three cardinal sins for when you're dumping your girlfriend are one, mentioning sex in the breakup. It's much easier to talk about incompatible personalities for a woman than for her to think either that she's fun or that she's bored you. Two, don't give her any false hope if there isn't any. Just because you might want the safety net of having a girl out there waiting for you, it's unfair on her to string her along and will generally overcomplicate matters later when she's trying to get back with you because we all know that the flesh is weak. Okay, third pointer is if there was a third party, if you were seeing someone else, if she's not aware about it already, it might just be worth um, leaving that and not telling her. It could cause her more emotional distress and your life a lot more disruption. So I really hope that's helped. And always please remember to break up in face or via the phone rather than a text message as well. Um, I've been anyway. My name's Hayley Quinn. I'm a sex dating and relationship ad advisor for onlinedating.org and I'll be sending another video in later this week. Thanks. <laughs>